and get these tournaments to the ranks they should be at because look at who we have back. We've got Losers Top 24 between Doorstop, the best player in Ohio, and Eric Lowe, one of the best players in his state of Wisconsin. Yeah, and well. Eric, though, one of the uh, players on Blockenheimer's run who got upset yesterday, and I am excited to s Actually, might not have been an upset. I know it was a close game either way. It was. And you know what? Doorstop, though, gonna have to fight through Mario. A little bit of a harder character to hit, a little bit of smaller hitboxes, plus gets right in that range that gets a little uncomfortable for ZSS at times. Yeah, but like you have that fireball to contest their spacing on the pressure. You have... You have back here, which is an incredibly safe boxing tool that counters DSS. You have a lot of really good tools to contest, but Yin, you don't got a way to contest getting paralyzed into boost kicked. That's gonna be it. The first stop going doorstop's way. He is heating up, determined to make top eight after that upset. Yeah, no, the classic there. And look at that, trying to lock him down on platform. We saw it in the last set that we saw from Doorstop, and now gets the grab, setting up for just a little bit of extra damage. And right now, Doorstop is the only name making waves right now in this game. That doorstop just really dominating, as you mentioned, right? Close to lapping the percent after that first stock, and Doorstop are able to flip kick back find the bowl under platform to limit the options, and Mario not able to get too much there, and he's just not throwing out Flood to control pacing, he's not throwing out Fireball, so he just has to get lucky, calls out the jump with the up smash, but Yin, you gotta find a way to not let ZSS just dictate when every interaction occurs. That being said, you know what? Doorstop been doing a pretty good job of dictating this game so far, and look at that, even when Eric got the hit, we get the reversal here for Doorstop. And it was because he jumped in, right? He's the one who initiated. He knew what he was looking for. He knew what couldn't go his way and how to bring it back in his favor. It was all cool, calm, and calculated. Maybe borrowing Blockenheimer's calculator between those sets. <laughs> now whip on the grab, though. Miscalculation in play, leading to an extra 30 for Eric. And now looking for a fireball setup. And so far, Doorstop just using that mobility to play around Mario nice and safely. And I think this is something we don't talk about enough with ZSS. If you don't find the read, if you right, if you into the paralyzer, this character just has to find that straight hit to kill you, right? This character relies on those reads, those straight hits to make it happen. And the down angle there, having slightly lower knockback act required to hit that miss tech, but it's not gonna kill, so it has to get the up throw DI mix up to close it down. Doorstop really getting pushed by his own character more than anything here in this set. Yeah, and just able to go ahead and secure more and more damage, 40%. This is a scary range if you know ZSS. But you know what, Forward Air gonna just secure some space and taking the nice safe damage as Eric push and Doorstop to ledge. And now we fire back, not quite able to secure it though. I like Doorstop's patience there. You saw the shield angle again, right? We've been talking about it all tournament long, but he's the first one to do it. The single up air off the paralyzer release into the reverse boost kick, okay. That was pretty saucy. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever seen any ZSS look for that kill confirm. Because that's all true. What can you say? There was no Doorstop? platform, Yen. They all, everyone's like, oh, he needs platforms ladder. They need platforms to kill you off the top, off there, right? But no, Doorstop just said, okay, I'm going to hit you with a Paralyzer at 60 at mid stage, and you're going to die for it. Doorstop just kind of crazy with it when it comes to that labbing. We mentioned it in their first set today of just a player who not only pushes the character to new heights, but is constantly labbing was the one to discover the forward air stuff and really push that to its brink. And now we're seeing new setups today as well. And just you know, after the set, we'll look at that kill confirm again here. I believe we're just about getting ready here now into game two. Still keeping the buy plat layout yet, but wanting to force a couple more scraps, not let ZSS dance around you at range the way yep. she can with how wide PS2 is. We're headed to small battles. Right? And of course, this is one of the known stages that Mario loves to play on for those ladders and for some of those setups into Ford Air. But you know what? Right now, all doorstop got plenty of play and still has some really good platform pressure. So I still like this, even for doorstop, despite being the counter pick from Eric. Yeah, I really like this a lot. I'm a little surprised we didn't see Town and City, but I know DSS likes it too. Looking for the air dodge read for there, there, instead of just the up special. Interesting decision, but I think maybe feeling that with the DI and no rage, it maybe wouldn't have killed yet just because of the percent. So I understand it, but now you have to win the interaction again, and Dorsop has just proven so hard for Eric to hit throughout this set so far. Yeah, and look at that. Parry on the fireball, Dorsop not wanting to give any space to Eric's decisions with those fireballs. 
now looking for the up smash, and both of them whiffing smash attacks in each other's faces. This might cost Eric the stock here, and Ledge, no, the up B, able to go ahead and catch a little bit of uh, space there. I like that just initial dash into the delay dash shield there under the platform, or I'm basically daring doorstop to say, hey, this is me forcing an option select just by running, right? just by my movement alone. Very smart little micro interaction there from Eric that has allowed him to maintain this advantage that even though nobody hit each other, unfortunately, though, it's going to be doorstop to find the scramble, but he still isn't getting out of disadvantage just yet. Yeah, and now... <laughs> 156, doorstop really struggling to find those stray hits that you mentioned. Once you get to a point, it becomes really difficult for ZSS to find those kills. Forward throw, just setting off stage, and now we're starting to get to that range where back throw for Mario could be a scary thing. Forget that, it's about the headbutt. Yes, man, man. and just like Mar Luigi, right? That uh, head uh, is invulnerable, but it's not going to stop you from getting hit by that back here. So doorstop going to go down in or find the stock in turn, keep this one nice, close, and even. But now getting put off stage, you have to use the boost kick, flip kick early here. No resources left, able to get back though. And the scramble, Eric has found a way in. And unlike the last game, this small stage has helped him so much. Just force interactions to really abuse Mario's safe buttons. Ooh, the F smash two to call out the flip jump. Beautiful job from Eric, and now up a full stock door stop being put on notice in this game. Number two needs to be able to find a way to bring back the momentum. Yeah, normally ZSS wants to flip kick the platform there, but because of where Eric was standing on that inner edge of the platform, you just can't, right? But it's still dash attack distance to be, you know, or dash distance to find that F smash as he did. And now, like, beautiful positioning again now to find the potential edge guard and the tech in place to give himself max flexibility with the eye mix ups off the platform. Eric has locked down the positioning on the smaller stage. And Doorstop just has had a much harder time getting in here. Now, oh my he gosh, again. going for the read again. Boost kick though, securing the stock. And now, this is the chance Doorstop needs to secure it down. Thankfully, that 70% range, a lot harder for Mario to confirm these kills off of a uh, easy combo starter. So it's going to be a little bit harder. Might be seeing some Marthritis here soon. Yeah, oh, the F tilt finding the missed attack, but not able to get too much. Still, though, the up smash, not going to find the back air conversion for optimal damage, though. So Doorstop still having to work off the interaction again. And the pivot cancel to turn around was so smart. It could have led into a flip kick mix up, but just Yin wasn't able to find it. And Eric still getting away when it matters most. He's not out of the woods yet to still lock down this game, despite how well he's played, though. Yeah, and look at that, the Nair coming on through. Buying for space and the back air to get the whiff punish right there. Now, doorstop. Really trying to be patient and gets the whiff punish off of the fireball, but it don't matter. Eric's been utilizing this Nair a lot to call out some of the jumps from doorstop and get out of disadvantage. It's so active, dude. It's so active. It sits out and lasts forever. Using the noggin, the confidence, doing it again. And I respect the Eric is looking for these reads, right? He's down a game against one of the best players in this bracket who has mm -hmm. been upset. He was upset himself in winners, and yet he's still betting on himself. He's still playing with the Super Game Conference, down a game, from behind, looking for these reads. And the fact that he got them on the first stock, on the second stock. It's been stock, a lot of and aggressive the third reads from Eric. Calling out that flip kick though, right? Again, expecting you to try to cover that flip jump, the platform there, and drift back if if we can, if we've got the time, we can jump back and look at the last replay. But if not, we can maybe catch it after the set. Just watch this, right? Hey, look at his position. He gets hit. Okay, he's under platform. You expect him to cover flip kick the platform because that's where ZSS always goes. Yeah. O's. O's. And then from there, he's able to find his way back. Sorry, the re on our on our tablet and on the screen desynced a little bit, so we're gonna keep it going. But just again, this positioning here, he expects it. He goes for the flip kick to punish, right? What you expect would be where ZSS would go, trying yep. to get too deep on the levels, and Eric just capitalized. And now we switch back to PS2, buy a little bit more space for ZSS to go ahead, use that mobility, play around, as well as the Zare to kind of push him away. I think that this is the stage we will see for the entire rest of the set, this and small battlefield. There's a small possibility that Doorstop decides, hey, maybe I want to mix things up and go to Hollow Bastion, but I don't expect it. I think these buy plats are here to stay. He yep. li Doorstop likes the space too much, and Eric likes the lack of it too much, right, to go anywhere else.
Yeah, and look at that, the Nair conversion into the up airs real fast for some quick damage, unable to get the full extension that you would want, but you know, sometimes that's just the way it goes. Blood getting a little bit of charge, of course, that could be a tool for later off stage. You go ahead, push doorstop farther, force them to burn uh, resources. The wave land back to space out Zare automatically, and then find the drop down, find the pressure, keep it going, right? Trying to catch these initial dashes that Eric has done on so aggressively in the last game, but they're just not working out for doorstop so far. The scramble, though, is going in his favor, and once again, we're seeing how the much a difference just a simple, little bit more space can make. Yeah, doorstop feels just so much more comfortable playing with stage and giving up just a little bit to make Eric feel comfortable. And now, finding that up air to get the stock doorstop in their element. One of the things that impresses me about Eric, you know, not gonna find the juggle there, but it's just, he's willing to just not press buttons sometimes, right? He's, yeah. Which is the best hidden tech in Ultimate. Because when you don't press that option, Ian, you have access to every single thing your character is capable of. Eric abused that to its maximum in game number two, and in game three here, just because of the extra space, right, he's forced to play a little bit more active, and that's where Doorstop is punishing him because he has to make some of these guesses instead of just reacting. Yeah, but look at that, the call out on the jump from Doorstop to go ahead, get a little bit more damage, and right now Doorstop playing very patient, but the cape to go ahead and force the issue, and Eric really trying to get this stock here, but has been unable to secure it so far. I really like these errors. I really like the pressure that we are finding from Doorstop, right? Just forcing Eric onto these platforms where he then, because of Doorstop's position, has to start throwing out fireballs. That allows Doorstop to right, lock you down there and then find the juggle. It's so much good pressure. Yeah, look at that back air, calling out the jump, keeping the pressure rolling, you know, switching it on. Switching ends though, so that Doorstop can't be the only one. But Paralyzer right there, we're up two stocks. Doorstop feeling it. Very good right now, I'm sure. I like that jump flip kick again, just resetting that time, Eric, not in the situation to find the F smash, so Doorstop just pulling the trigger now. But again, slowing it down, boxing, and this time it's Doorstop who's the one willing to just play it slow, right? Control the pace of the game and let himself react to whatever Eric is forced to do. Now Eric getting caught up by the F tilt. You gotta be very careful how you dash in on ZSS because if she's ready, she just does that quick little poke option to keep you out. And now down oh, no. air, yep, you're gone. Perfect acknowledgement right here. I wanna go ahead and take a look at that third stock because that was beautiful and clean from a ZSS aspect where ultimately we go ahead. All right, I get you off over here in that corner. I pop you off with the fair and look at that. Let's back up and look at that position on the Zare too. Yeah, it's the jump back, right? That's huge. But also, if you, but also Yin, if we look at before, right? This Zare finds the forward air pressure. Watch this Zare, right? It forces you to go low. Mario could go high there otherwise into the jump back. Yep. Just beautiful frame trap there off stage from doorstop and I really appreciate you bringing that to our attention because it was a fantastic textbook ZSS positioning, but now you got to deal with, it on, with a lot less room to buffer yourself, right, and control that pace. You got to do it when you're scrambling here on small battlefield again. And you know what? Let's see if Doorstop can keep that momentum flowing after a three stock right now, playing very slow, very passive, and that's kind of what you need sometimes against Mario as ZSS so that you don't overextend and get caught up with the scary options, especially at that 26% range. This is perfect space for a ladder for Mario. Yeah. Interesting, I noticed there that Eric though actually banned Hollow Bastion against ZSS. Very interesting, because that is one of Mario's best stages, but I know ZSS likes it too. Perhaps why you want something a little bit more neutral than just something as polar for both characters. Looking for what could have been a Kurama classic there, finding the combo, but just once again, missing that the, those turnarounds to find the extension to keep those into the stock, and those extra opportunities are now allowing Doorstop to find the first yep. stock. Instead, he had the champion, but just didn't capitalize. Yeah, that is the nice thing about Down Smash, is it has a very perfect angle to go ahead and hit that flip kick, so Doorstop, nice clean stock once he got it. And now look at this, keeping the jungle game going. That is one surprising issue with Mario, not a really good hitbox to hit below him, and so now Doorstop pushing it. I like the down air, I like the zares, I like the pressure here. Just beautiful stuff now from Doorstop as he's just boxing out the up tilt. Oh, the back air, the paralyzer now in the aerial. I thought he was going to go for a back air and look for the stock, but just not quite yet. So now it's Eric's turn to reset and maybe get a chance. Yeah, but Doorstop getting very aggressive with that boost kick. Still living and might be able to secure a stock here at ledge. Look at that. Eric plays patient, but not quite patient enough for Doorstop.
Yin, I mean, we're seeing a completely different doorstop than we saw on Winner's Tide, right? That one was groggy, he was a little slow, he woke up in game five, but this one is playing supreme confidence, right? Pulling out all the reads, all the hits, all the optimal situations, time and time again, he is going on a run and looks like he is determined to find a way to win this tournament. Yeah, pedal to the metal, how do you deal with it, Eric? Now off stage, not able to get through that flip kick. Beautiful way to get a nice clean stock. And now at 102, Eric needs to find a way to start securing something. Otherwise, doorstop is going to run away. Yeah, I mean, ZSS, right, so good at just dancing, tiptoeing just out of where you want to be. The forward air was a great idea, but Doorstop smart enough to not cross that threshold, right, not invite himself into Mario's domain of offstage and find a way to hold on, keep the three stock potentially alive here. Eric has just not been able to find more than a straight hit since the very first interaction of the game. Yeah, and look at that. The fair catches with the Zer on the, on the trap there. 140 to 89, jumps around looking for the back air. Doorstop just really trying to place it right. And I like the way Doorstop is playing this aggressive. He's not focusing on maintaining the three stock. He's focusing on overwhelming Eric, right? Forcing him to make a panic option with how far down he is and play as disciplined as possible. There's the landing yep. up air into the boost kick. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Doorstop booking his way for top 16. Loser side, taking the top 24 win here and now, just, I believe, right, one set away from top eight? Uh, two. Losers, two sets away, right, yeah, yes, yeah. loser side. So I, winner I, side only has one. You're right. And so I, it's double. Listen, man, I keep, I keep forgetting, man. Doorstop's on loser side. That's crazy I know. to me. Isn't it wild? Doorstop, you know. But it goes to show how good Isaiah had mm -hmm. to play because the way Doorstop was heating up, it carried on into this set, and they were ready. Look at that flip kick. Beautiful placement. And then, of course, this talk right here. Gets them off stage, gets them nervous, and yep. then all you need is for them to make one mistake. And I actually want to talk about the interaction leading up to that as well, because if you watch this, you in the back air to find that pressure, or in the first place, right? So you, I, from the beginning now, right? Zare, okay, it gets parried, but it's safe, so you can just box and reset because it's such a good position when you have the platform control. You know you can force Mario to either go high or low, but he has to play on the edge of that platform, and yeah. that's what you're looking for with the upside because when he swings, you can you can either cover the double jump with a rising up air or cover what if he doesn't swing his landing lag with the fast fall falling up air, right? It's a frame trap just off the movement alone. You pressure him into going to the platform because it seems like the place that you have the most options to get out of dodge, but not against Zero Suit Samus. And see